Truckers in the maritime industry are threatening to halt operations due to the surging attack on their drivers, which have resulted in debt, extortion, and vehicle damage. At a meeting in Lagos, the Association of Maritime Truck Owners urged the government to take immediate actions to address this alarming trend, noting that uh, many trucking and haulage businesses are now operating at a loss. TVC News senior business correspondent Ifunaya Eze reports. If the Association of Maritime Truck Owners follows through on its threat to withdraw services after a two-week ultimatum, the consequences could be severe, potentially leading to port congestion and other disruptions to port operations. At this meeting, the group made it clear they can no longer tolerate the harassment, extortion and attacks on their drivers by hoodlums along the port corridor. The issue has to do with the ignoble activities of the street urchins popularly known as Agbele. You can see from the hall that atmosphere is charged. People are angry because of what they have been doing. They brutalize our drivers on daily basis. Sometimes they even kill. Apart from smashing the whisking, smashing the damaging the truck, they even cause accidents that may continue to fall on vehicles. The decision to withdraw services stems from frustration over failure to address the escalating danger to their lives and the safety of the cargo they transport. A situation, they say, has worsened inflation in the country. We have issued 14 days ultimatum to federal government to look into the activities of all these extortion bandits that littered ECOWAS corridor, Apapatinka logistic corridor, the Lekki Corridor and other logistic routes, they should address these people. They should leave the road. They should stop harassing truckers. The general statistics is showing us that 85% of the, of the goods coming to Nigeria and going out, out of Nigeria is being carried by the truckers. So without, if the government can protect the interests of the driver, definitely they are not protecting the, the interests of the economy. Because this extortion is killing the economy. The truckers are calling on the federal government to take decisive action against the deep-rooted issue, which they say is hindering the ease of doing business and discouraging investment in the sector. They are also demanding an outright ban on roadblocks and checkpoints used for toll collection on major highways in accordance with the Taxes and Levies Act of 2004. Ifunanya Eze. TVC News, Lagos.